Our Slavic and Norse mythology, the same. The Slavs and Norse were separated for the most part by a relatively small sea. They interacted often. For example, Russia draws its name from the Kievan Rus, also known as the Varangians, who were recognized Norsemen. But it goes beyond that. There are two gods with unsettling parallels, one from Norse myth and the other from Slavic myth. Thor and Perun are their names. They're both thunder gods. Both have magical chariots drawn by a goat. Both are portrayed as rugged warrior gods with red hair who toss their weapons. Both were major deities, head deities, if you believe in such a thing. Moreover, in both mythologies, the worlds are represented by a huge tree. There are one-eyed kings in both of them, Odin in Norse and Svarog in Slavic. So it looks like the writers of the Slavic mythology copied the homework of Norse's writers and changed it up a little bit.